Hello, everybody. Penny wants to say hello as per usual. Penny, yeah, exactly. Penelope Space Program. Penny Space Program. Exactly. She has to say hello to everybody, so I figured today we'll just start out with a little bit of pooch. And then we'll and then when we need to take a break later, we'll have we'll do more pooch. There we go. That's a good girl. Yeah. Look at look at that smile. Look at those chompers. Look at those puppy chompers. Well, you're just a good girl. You're just a good girl. Thank you. Thank you for saying hello to everybody. That's that a good pooch does. Yeah. Yeah. I swear we'll get to the rockets eventually. That's the best dog ever. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Benny. Now, now we're gonna do the rocket thing, okay? Over here. Down. Good girl. Hey, Caliban. There's been a doggy coup in the Magnus Space Program. Here's to 19 more months. Thanks for the resub, Caliban. So, uh, this is with the new, uh, what is it, Breaking Ground DLC, which came out, which adds a lot more stuff to do and a lot more, like, quality of life adjustments to the game. Uh, and I did do a lot of the early boring stuff off screen. I did all the missions where you have to you know, just uh, uh, build up science to unlock the cool parts so that we could start today with a more interesting mission. So I've already built the Magnu 1, which is going to be, this is going to be the, the, uh, the mission that takes us to the moon. All right, coffee. Um, and one of the things that I really loved about this update is that it added, I, I'm pretty sure, I don't remember seeing this before, but it added a Delta V indicator on every single stage. So you know exactly how much Delta V you uh, are going to be getting from that stage. stage. And it changes uh, dynamically based on conditions. So as I crawl up through the atmosphere and get into space, all these numbers will change. Like this upper stage right here, uh, it, it, it ground level, it only has 700 um, meters per second in Delta V. But once we get into space, because that's a tiny little engine on there, it's a small but efficient engine, it goes up to like 4,000 or something like that. Alrighty, but anywho, we are going to launch ourselves... Well, well, let's make sure we have a, an actual pilot in inside here. Uh, Valentina. Good. I already killed Jebediah. I'm sorry about it, but uh, Jeb Jeb is I think I think it starts with is it Jebediah Kerbin the one that are that that um that you start the game with? He died in a freak accident, which I was super bummed out about. Uh, partly because I didn't get it recorded because I was you know doing the boring early missions. Um. Uh, 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 so what happened was I was testing out multi-stage rockets to make sure the stability was good. And uh, one of the rockets, this st um, it started wobbling. Jebediah, can't I? Jebediah's immortal. Um, uh, the, the the rocket started. Um, uh, it it had a like a, a like a seesaw motion going, and it was progressively getting a lot worse. And before the rocket disintegrated, I decided to abort. So I jettisoned the crew capsule and um, all the you know I, I I did all the staging and uh, the, the 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 booster rockets flew off and twirled off into space and the the capsules uh, deployed um, the the parachutes deployed correctly and started floating down and then one of the rockets turned around came back and slammed into the capsule and blew it up which was unfortunate but uh, I have I have tested this. Um, I have done a test launch of this, and theoretically, this is stable and safe enough to make it to the moon and back. So that's what we're going to be starting this run with. Is a this is just a lunar flyby, and theoretically, this does have enough um, capacity and delta v to probably get a lander to the moon. Stream buffered when you clap. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, so. Oh, God, I'm nervous. Because off-screen, this works perfectly fine. Off-screen, this works absolutely perfectly fine. But uh, on-screen, not so much. Oh, I also uploaded a custom flag because I thought that'd be fun. Whew, okay. Here we go.
our first launch. Now this is a uh, this is uh, just a lunar flyby. All all this is designed to do is to get to the moon, uh, capture into a lunar orbit, get our science, and then leave. That is all this is designed to do. That is all we're trying to do with this. And uh, these are asparagus stages. That's why you can see the the fuel um, the fuel lines here. So they will peel off um, in pairs. I theoretically should be able to get to orbit with at least one pair still in line, though. So far, so good. Stability is better than I expected. Approaching 4,000 meters, 200 meters per second, and stage. All right, pretty good, pretty good. We don't need that much thrust, though. I want to get a little... Oh, th this is the progression that I was a little bit worried about, is that it's a little wibbly-wobbly. So, and we have to start making our gravity turn. So, I'm a little worried about that wibble. But as long as the wibble doesn't wobble too badly, we should be just fine. And we're going to try... Oh, oh, okay, we're getting a little off course here. A little off course. But we're approaching 45-degree angle. And as soon as, once we get out of the atmosphere, that wibble won't matter. Oh, stage. All right, good. Let's take a look at the map. What, what is our uh, apoapsis at? 30,000. And you can see over here, the delta V is changing dynamically based on the atmospheric pressures, which is great. All right, all right, so far so good. The asparagus staging is working correctly. The fuel is being pumped in the appropriate order. And what we're looking for is this to hit about 80,000 and then we're good. We're doing pretty good. This is working. This is, it's working. Okay. 70,000 is an appropriate orbit. I'm going to go to about 80, and then we're going to cut the engines. There we are. All right, so I made it into, well, it's not an orbit, uh, but this is what I meant. I made it into this stage with um, a little tiny bit of fuel left in our boosters here. Why is it called asparagus staging? I think it's just because when you buy asparagus, it's in a group like that, like a cluster. All righty. So we have made it into a suborbital trajectory. Next stage is going to be burning into a appropriate orbit. So all we got to do is wait a little bit, uh, and then we'll start burning a little bit before we hit our apoapsis here. <laughs> Sam, that doesn't work. I have to do. I have to do that up from my end. <laughs> and I this. I have no strong feelings hey. one way or the other. Thanks for the donation, Zamilia. I have no str that's actually perfect that it's uh it, it's it's the um the the, the neutrals from from Futurama cuz they live in space. Gr grilled asparagus with melted parmesan is the only way to eat asparagus. That's the way I make it. Ask Leah uh, cuz she never I don't think she really liked asparagus I have before. No strong feelings and Mother one Russia, thanks the for the other. donation as well. This is going to be fun. Thanks for the stream. Thank you for the donation. Okay, so I'm going to start our burn about here. All right. And we're going to need to drop this staging in a minute. All right, there it is. Get rid of that. And there we go. Perfect. Yeah. And I've got about 4,000 Delta V to do this. That should be good. I mean, the biggest, the biggest uh, burn I'm going to need to do is is this one and then the next one is going to be getting into a an escape trajectory i think that's going to take about 800 delta v but getting um burning into a lunar orbit and then burning out of a lunar orbit is like 50 each it's not bad at all all right i don't want to waste too much fuel here so stop the burn turn those engines back on what are we looking at? Still got about a third of our fuel left on this stage. Get it a little bit closer to our apoapsis, so we're a little bit more efficient. We're almost there. 
We are almost there. What's added in this DLC? Uh, you can check the the Steam page, but as soon as I get, let me get to a stable orbit, and then I'll pop over there myself and I'll read it off. All right. Gonna keep this. Gonna gonna keep trying to do this a little bit more efficiently. I like how the uh, we 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 have the fins on this stage. But we're in space, so they don't matter anymore. All right, this should be the last turn, the the last uh, last burn here. Oh, and there's the staging. So now let's get rid of that one. Turn that one on, and there's an orbit. Once this gets to 70,000, bam. Okay, let's pop up the Steam page on this and actually see exactly what's added on it. Uh, Kerbal. God, I don't remember why I actually bought this game originally, but boy, is it fun. Breaking ground. Uh, it adds deployable scientific instruments, um, surface features, uh, more parts and um, uh, a bunch of UI fixes, new Kerbal suits, and that looks like it. Let's see, weather stations, solar panels allows player to collect science over time. Basically, it's a uh, it's a lot of parts, a lot of um, visual stuff, a lot of UI stuff. Hey, Waldo. Uh, personally, I think it's worth it because the stuff they added is a go rate. Yeah, so we've got. Uh, 2,800 Delta V to finish this mission with, which should be just fine. So we need to get to the moon. And oh, it looks like our, our inclination's off by a tiny little bit, but it's probably not going to make that much of a difference. So let's add in our first maneuver node. And about 800, 900, I think, should do the trick. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, here, let's lower this. We want to do this with the least amount of Delta V possible. That's a pretty good... That's pretty good right there. 800. Point pro... pro tell it to point pro grade. All right, yeah. So, th this is one of the reasons why I really like um, this addition right here. Let's see, can I... Yeah, right there. Because this is exact, exact, in, under current conditions, exactly how much Delta V I have left. And when you go to plan a burn, it tells you how much Delta V that burn will take. So you can plan for, like, Doom a little more appropriately. Like, I know that it's going to be, like, I don't know, let's say 100 Delta V to burn retrograde to get into a lunar orbit. And I know it's going to be, like, 100 Delta V to burn out of a lunar orbit and it might be a few hundred to get a return trajectory appropriate to to Kerbin. We've got 2800. This is going to take uh let's say 850. That leaves me about 1950 to work with. I've got enough. I don't have um a lot of uh cool equipment yet. So I'm I don't even have like deployable solar pa panels and uh, a lot of the so of the sign stuff is just jammed into this service module. All right, so let's see. Uh, node is in twenty eight minutes, so we got some time to blow. Oh yeah, it's basically a full orbit. So we got to wait till we're all, all the way back around to the other side again. But that's okay. That's about... Th this is about what I thought that burn would cost. Yeah, my my first my first astronaut died off screen in a, ho in a freak accident. A rocket disintegrated. I successfully um, uh, deployed the escape. The escape button. Uh, so the capsule survived and was floating down on the parachute, and one of the boosters returned and hit it. Alright, so, uh, still pointing prograde. Gonna wait, we, we'll, we'll start the burn at about 45 seconds. A little under 45 seconds. 
burn time's about a minute and a half, so let's go, to, let's do 40, 42. And full throttle! And we've got, this is a, um, this is one of those small, like, engines that's specifically built for, uh, for space. Oh my god, look at the specific impulse. This, the specific impulse of this on land is basically nothing. Uh, in space, it's 345. Um, specific impulse is, I'm pretty sure, you can correct me if I'm wrong, is, is basically how efficient the fuel is. How much delta V you'll get per unit of fuel. Alrighty. Now, this may seem like everything's going smoothly, but this that's probably because I, I did a lot of testing on the ship off screen so we can start on a success. We are waiting for the moment your rocket explodes before reaching space. Oh, trust me, that'll happen once I start designing fresh rockets. This one this one was designed and tested off screen extensively so that I could not immediately make a fool out of myself. All right, almost done with the burn. 125. 100. We're just waiting for our intercept with the moon here. There it is. Perfect. All right. Bye, curb. And we've still got 1,966 Delta V. I am a total noob at space stuff. Like I'm not, I, I'm not a complete moron. I'm a partial moron, um, so I know what some stuff is. But if I if I say wrong things or do things inappropriately, just let me know. Just let me know. Bye, friend. I've lived on you my literal whole life. The part that makes me nervous is the re-entry because if uh, if you followed me on Twitter. Um, you'll know that my, uh, my, my test launch of this ship, the re-entry had a bit of a kerfuffle. I changed some stuff around, but hopefully the re-entry will go smoother. Yeah, we can speed this up. And whoop. Okay, now let's see. We want to get here, add a maneuver, burn retrograde, and let's see. Okay, that's a little more than I thought, but still puts us perfectly fine. Um, our inclination's off, so... Let's slow this down so we have a little time to work here. Incl maybe We could probably co uh, correct the inclination right now. Just eyeball it. Try to get that closer to uh, an even keel. All right. Uh, burn time 25 seconds. Note in six minutes. Should be pretty simple. That that that's a that's a nice new uh, thing that I have to deal with is the stream just deciding to turn off and stop working. That's great. So I don't know exactly when. Um, I don't know exactly what you guys cut out, but I made it into orbit perfectly fine. The Saxon men. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know if that applies to them. I don't know if there's Saxon men here. But now it's time for science. Woohoo! <laughs> Fifty science from that. All right, close the bay. Let's see. Let's open the service module. Let's take a temperature reading out here at the moon. Let's uh, do a science uh, ghoul. We're going to do a, a pressure reading, you know, space. My second science goop. Going to close the bay. And we're done. Space, I <laughs> shed the blood of the space Saxon men. There we go. Okay. Now we got to, <laughs> that's, that's, that was the mission. Now it's the hard part. Leaving. All right. Basically, we want to burn to burn at a point where we'll get an eccentric orbit.
That'll, I mean, that'll do just fine. Yeah, it's like 50, 50 meters per second to leave this, uh, leave this orbit. It's pretty easy. Thought this was a one-way trip. No, Valentina's my best pilot now that Jeb's dead. I can't kill Valentina. Is it Valentina? I think it's Valentina. I can't let her die. Yeah, this will this will be an easy. Well, see, this will be an easy mission, but then we have to actually plan difficult missions. And blip. There we go. Time to go. Bye, Moon. You did your duty. Because what we're gonna need to. Because ideally, what I want to do f next is land a. Uh, uh, a, a, what's it called? A, um, like a probe on the moon. But to do that, I need satellites. Yeah, lander. But with this science, I should be able to unlock most of the stuff I need for that. Alright, so now all we're gonna do is point retrograde and get to our apoapsis here. And whoop. Now this one I don't even need to plan. This one I can just do myself. And we just need to get a like atmospheric re-entry. We need an arrow break. And arrow break and hope we don't burn up in the atmosphere. Because that was the problem I had last time is I think we uh, generated a little too much heat on re-entry. So we'll go for like 60 just like just inside the atmosphere there that's good and technically we don't need the engine anymore you only need one satellite for the far side um i like to have more if possible but uh i but at this stage we probably should do it with the like the minimum possible with with whatever whatever's cheapest Whatever's cheapest. Yeah, we're gonna we finish the mission. There's still 1,200 uh, meters per second left in the engine. That's good. That means that we could either do a more complex mission without um, any alterations to the spacecraft, or um, we can haul more more weight into space. Do I have a heat shield? I do have a heat shield. I had, I had a heat shield last time, and it's and um, th there was still enough like bleed through to blow up the uh, the service bay, because the, what the, uh, there's a heat shield right here, uh, and then we got the sci science guy, and then uh, the service bay, and then the crew capsule. And what I did was uh, I had the the service bay um, over here, and I think because it's mostly empty that it can't take a lot of heat before it blows up. I'll let spare fuel low powered magus. The People's Republic of uh, Kerbalia cannot afford such a waste of resources. I don't know if I can uh, safely bring it. Oh, I, I know I can't safely bring that fuel in through re-entry. Do I have an antenna? Uh, on this? No. But I don't need an antenna on this. Alright. Uh, let's see. We are... Just, just double check here. 60,000 meters. I think I'll keep the engine on for emergencies. Let's just make sure that we've got a, a, a full re-entry before we do anything. If you burn retro, it'll reduce the air braking time. Uh, we'll get closer to the periapsis before we, we do that. Just, just, to, just to spend the fuel. All right, we are technically in the atmosphere. So now if we check the uh, the apoapsis, it should be moving. Yep. So why don't we go ahead and uh, spend, spend some doodle? Might as well. What I could do is I can, I can make it a, a circular inside the atmosphere um, orbit. And that, that'll reduce the amount. I've got the fuel. That'll reduce the amount of orbits we need to do. 
What could possibly go wrong? I mean, I can think of some things. Eight hundred still got eight hundred meters per second. If people want me to spend my uh, spend my fuel, I'll spend my fuel. Burn out down. So what are we gonna get this down to? We gonna get the apoapsis in the atmosphere? We probably stop there. Oh yeah, this this one's down to twenty. We should stop. Your life, if you air capture it too, shall you bounce off into everything's space. perfectly Basically, all right yeah. now. We're fine. We're all fine here now. Thank you. All right, we're gonna stop that there. Uh, we'll stage, and now we wait. Bye. Now, now, now we play the waiting game. Trial and error with rocket design. Yeah, that's the fun part. Well, I mean, success is fun too. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? God bless it. I forgot to take a crew report at the moon. <laughs> She forgot to write down her notes. Valentina, you're a disappointment to the space program. Did they change the location of the space center? I think there are um, several. I think there are several space centers now. All right, here comes here comes the arrow break. Valentino's little face. And we just gotta hope nothing blows up. I I like to I like to think that she just forgot her pen. Like she had she had everything good to go, and then she was like, you know, doing that thing where you pat your pockets looking for something. I thought there was a bot command for the the space clip. Oh, that was my follower notification for a, uh for a while. I can, oh, yep. Yeah, okay, now we're going to slow it down. And and we'll here, let's pull up the display on the heat shield here. I got to admit though, this is a much shallower re-entry than I did the last time. So hopefully Pens don't work in space. Yeah, they, <laughs> yeah, they do. It's what NASA uses. Pop that up. There we go. We landed in Moscow yet? Yes, NASA does use a special space pen. I, I honestly don't think I've ever eaten through an entire blader before. All right. Plasma's starting to build up. Everything looks good. I'm not seeing any pro I'm not seeing any uh, uh, heat notifications. I love that sound building up. The joke about NASA spending millions on a space pen in Russia would just use a pencil are false. Well, it's not entirely false, but it's it's um it's kind of misinterpreted. There's a reason that they don't want to use pencils in space. It's that because graphite uh you know, tiny bits of graphite um sloughing off of the pencil flying around can short circuit instruments and stuff like that. And, you know, Russia doesn't mind that kind of stuff so much, but NASA does. So far, so good. I'm pretty sure at this point in re-entry on my test, I had already had an explosion. Short circuit eyeballs. You know, little graphite filings in your eyeballs would be a bad idea.
I think we're good. This is fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. If I remember correctly, this uh, the Russian slash Soviets up the same pen as NASA anyway. Yeah, I think they did. Oh yeah, we're we're, we're through the worst of it. <laughs> Successful re-entry. That went way smoother than the last time. There we go. Beautiful. All right, now now we just fall back to Hoosits. Wait, where are we landing? Middle of the ocean. That should be a nice smooth la uh, uh, smooth doodle down. All right, uh, drogue shoot. And there are way more parachutes on this that are necessary because I did not want any of the signs destroyed. So we can float down safely. We can, let's see, four, 4.7 meters per second is perfectly safe. Hey, I wonder if we can take a, a crew report in the ocean. I don't know if we've done that yet. Well, at least I'm going to get like a hundred or so science out of this. That'll definitely allow me to unlock another, um, another doodle. Probably enough to unlock, uh, the, um, uh, the better robotic stuff. Oh, four, four meters per second. That's perfectly safe. Oh, I, I am pleased with how that went. And we'll, what we'll probably end up doing is using the same basic setup for the rest of the moon missions. Maybe. We'll see. Splash. Crew report. Nope. We're good. All right. Recover the vessel. Uh, I did play Frostpunk. I didn't really like it that much. You'd think a game with, like, child labor in it and cannibalism would be right up my alley, but I actually thought it was pretty boring. 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 